Welcome to the Carver Community Cultural Center. My name is Yanni Blanchett and I am the Executive Director. The mission of the Carver Community Cultural Center is to celebrate the diverse cultures of our world, our nation, and our community with an emphasis on its African and African American heritage. The Carver Community Cultural Center proudly presents its 2014-2015 performance season. Our 2014-2015 season artistic package, bundled with numerous music, dance, and stage presentations, will inspire, awe, and delight our audiences. Four-time Grammy Award winner Diane Reeves sets in motion our dynamic season, Saturday, October 11th. Reeves, considered to be the preeminent jazz vocalist in the world, is regarded by Wynton Marsalis to have one of the most powerful, purposeful, and accurate voices. Our Soul Theater presentation, Speed Killed My Cousin, is the story of a young African-American female veteran of the Iraq War and her struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder. You're invited to see this production by Carpet Bag Theater Friday, November 7th and Saturday, November 8th. Look, we spent months over there trying not to look into people's eyes, but you've got to come home now. Start looking at things. Look at me. Pedrito Martinez, world-class conga player, singer, and band leader, will captivate audiences with his fascinating sound steeped in Afro-Cuban rumba on Friday, December 5th. Grammy Award winner Gregory Porter and his powerful baritone voice will enthrall audiences on Saturday, December 20th. The brilliance of his poetry and the unguarded depth of his emotional delivery is a must-see. Watch what happens when the people catch wind of water hitting the banks of hard dry land. Clap your hands now, 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 clap your hands now. Grammy-nominated jazz pianist, composer, bandleader, and MacArthur Fellow Vijay Iyer rings in the new year with his musical compositions, bridging the avant-garde and mainstream composition and improvisation on Saturday, January 17th, 2015. One thing that you hear throughout this album and, and what happens when we play live is that there isn't a lot of soloing in the way that people are used to hearing in this context. There are moments when Stefan has the ball, and there are moments when Marcus has the ball, and there are moments when I have the ball. But most of the time, we're all just organically passing the energy around from moment to moment. Oh, the influence a ranger composer lyricist Billy Strayhorn has had on jazz enthusiasts around the world with a concert commemorating his 100th birthday on Sunday, February 8th. The Primetime Jazz Orchestra will celebrate the music of composer Billy Strayhorn. Complexion's contemporary ballet graces the Carver stage on Saturday, February 21st, using a diversified range of dance forms, including classical, modern, and contemporary dance styles.
Tango Buenos Aires, Argentina's greatest cultural export, performs a journey through dance and music of the life of Eva Perón. The sometimes playful, sometimes dramatic, and always sensuous Tango Buenos Aires performs Saturday, March 14th. The experience is breathtaking, electrifying, unforgettable. Tango Buenos Aires. Malayan singer, songwriter, and guitarist Rokia Traore serenades audiences with her music described as modern classical music or avant-garde jazz on Saturday, April 4th. Listen to their debut album, And Still I Rise, or witness a live performance by the Heritage Blues Orchestra, and you'll recognize this group as something breathtakingly new, even as they honor old African-American musical traditions. Heritage Blues Orchestra is at the Carver, Saturday, May 23rd. Get right, church, and let's go home. Get right, church, and let's go home. Get right, church. Closing the 2014-2015 performance season is legendary Valerie Simpson, one half of the beloved and legendary singer-songwriter Motown duo Ashford and Simpson. Valerie Simpson has returned to the music scene with the release of her highly anticipated Dinosaurs Are Coming Back Again in 2012. She is still creating great music as she begins the next chapter of an extraordinary career. Our season cannot be successful without you. Please stop by our box office and meet our hardworking staff who can answer your questions about becoming a Carver subscriber. If you become a season subscriber at the Carver, you have the opportunity to purchase your seats before they go on sale to the public. You will get a discount on individual tickets. And finally, if you're not able to make a show, then you'll be able to exchange that ticket for another show. We have three ways in which members of the community can make donations to programs. The first is our primary activity, which is the Cavalcade of the Stars. It's a dinner and concert, and we've been putting it on for many years, and it will occur this year on October the 25th. You can support that through either a sponsorship of a table or individual tickets. Preparations are underway as board members are planning for their annual fundraiser, Calvacate of the Stars. This year's Calvacate of the Stars fundraiser will feature Timeless Voices with Eddie Levert, Gerald Alston, and Dennis Edwards. Timeless Voices will join us for a special concert scheduled for Saturday, October 25, 2014 at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center, Lila Cockrell Theater. Distinguished individually for their timeless, chart-topping and award-winning love songs, these three influential men have come together to perform their favorite hits. All proceeds benefit the Carver Community Cultural Center's performance series and educational programs. Thank you for making the Carver Community Cultural Center a proud and successful story.